The universe, spatially speaking, has no beginning or end, at least in theory. It extends in all directions for billions of parsecs. In relation to Earth, that's what we learn in school. However, what we can see is only a very small part of it. We can only observe the objects whose light has reached us since the beginning of the universe until now. So, what is there in the part that we cannot see? First of all, is there really something in that place? Is there a possibility that space is not infinite? These are questions that we aim to explore. The observable universe, as the name suggests, refers to the part of the universe that we can observe. It is also sometimes called the visible universe. In all likelihood, there is no geometric center in the universe. However, the Earth itself can be considered a center from our perspective. To imagine the observable universe, think of a sphere with a radius of 14.3 million parsecs or 46.5 million light years. That is the extent of the universe that humanity can currently have knowledge of with the help of current technologies. This might be surprising to some. The universe emerged approximately 13.8 billion years ago, so the observable universe is also about 13.8 billion light years in radius. The celestial bodies we see today are not in their current state but rather how they appeared at the time their light reached us. For example, when we see the sun, we are seeing its appearance from 8 minutes and 20 seconds ago, as it takes that long for light to travel from the sun to earth. Similarly, the light from the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, takes 4.2 years to reach us, and if we look at the Andromeda galaxy, we are seeing it as it appeared 2.5 million years ago. Therefore, the farthest celestial object visible from Earth is approximately 13.8 billion light years away, as light from beyond the distance has not reached us yet. However, these thoughts only hold true under the assumption that the universe is not undergoing expansion. The universe is not expanding from a specific center, instead, it is expanding uniformly, continuously, and in all directions. To help visualize this, imagine a regular balloon with some dots drawn on it. As you inflate the balloon, the surface stretches, and the dots, representing galaxies, move away from each other. You won't find a central point of expansion on the surface of the balloon. Now, Transfer this idea from the two-dimensional surface of the balloon to the three-dimensional space of the universe. The dots you drew on the balloon can be seen as galaxies and galaxy clusters. When we consider galaxies in the universe, the ones that are farthest away are not only seen as they appeared in the past, but they are also observed in the same position they were in at that time. As a result, the space between galaxies appears to expand, and beyond the observable universe, there might be a vast expanse of empty space between galaxies. However, on the scale of billions of parsecs, we cannot ignore the expansion of space. Regarding the cosmic horizon, it can be visualized as the edge of the observable universe. Imagine it as the rim of a teacup in the field of tassiography. Beyond that rim lie the most distant galaxies and quasars that we can currently observe. The precise nature of what lies beyond the cosmic horizon is unknown, and even with advancements in astronomical instruments, it is impossible to directly observe beyond it. If a time machine were invented, or if we found a way to travel faster than the speed of light, covering billions of light years would potentially allow us to uncover the mysteries beyond the observable universe. However, However, it's important to note that traveling beyond the observable universe poses several challenges and limitations based on our current understanding of physics. One significant limitation is the cosmic speed limit imposed by the theory of relativity, which states that the speed of light is the maximum speed at which information can travel through space. As we approach the speed of light, the energy required to accelerate an object increases exponentially, making it practically impossible to exceed or even reach that speed with our current technology. Additionally, as we move farther away from our local group of galaxies, the expansion of the universe becomes more pronounced. The galaxies themselves are moving away from each other due to the expansion of space. Beyond a certain distance, the rate of expansion exceeds the speed of light which means that galaxies in those regions are effectively moving away from us faster than light can travel. This phenomenon creates a cosmic event horizon, similar to a black hole's event horizon, 
where regions of space become causally disconnected from us. Therefore, even if we could somehow overcome the limitations of cosmic expansion and achieve faster than light travel, it's unclear what we would encounter beyond the observable universe. The physical laws and structures of the universe may be vastly different in those regions. New galaxies, cosmic structures, and unknown phenomena could exist, but without direct observation or theoretical predictions, we can only speculate. Furthermore, it's worth considering that our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving. New discoveries, observations, and theoretical advancements may provide us with a deeper understanding of the nature of the universe, its boundaries, and what lies beyond the observable universe. In summary, while the observable universe provides us with a vast expanse of cosmic wonders to explore, venturing beyond its boundaries presents significant challenges due to the limitations of our current scientific knowledge and the fundamental principles of physics. The mysteries of what lies beyond the cosmic horizon remain intriguing and open for exploration through continued scientific inquiry and advancements.